Those are just like wicked looking, man. Yeah. It's like three great big Harley motors in there. <laughs> Something like that, you know? Yeah. Which would be a lot. Yeah. Probably. That, that's a magneto right there. Yeah. Runs off the uh, gear driven front end up there. Gear driven, uh, whatever they call that. Transfer case thing right in the very front that's running the fan. Oh, yeah. And look at that fan belt. It's chunks of uh, ro uh, leather, isn't it? Yeah, that, that little keyways. That is just like wicked. And that fan is like, check out that fan. That is so cool. Is it aluminum? Steel? Might be aluminum. Cast aluminum? It wow. It feels like aluminum. Wow. Wow, man, that's a one-of-a-kind looking thing there now. Yeah, you need to check out this side, too. It, it all is one-of-a-kind looking. Look at this gear-driven uh, magneto. It is so cool. Yeah. The, uh... And the uh, carburation. It looks like the water pump is driven wow. off of... There's a steering gear. Off the... What? Toby? He might be in here with me. Toby! Yeah, she's right here, the oh, orange. Toby's right here. Orange and white one. Yeah, I'll come back around on that side yeah. and check it out. It is. Them wheels, man, they're just so bad. I have a friend that makes w wagon wheels. I know he could do one of these, but... Hello? Man, that is some effort there. What? Cool. All right, I'm busy. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I got some old wagon wheels ironed out there at the farm. So you probably wouldn't be able to pack those home today, would you? They're pretty big. Yeah. See, I'd have to look at them to tell if they'll fit. Is that about to go? that shaft that runs through the crankcase there that operates the water pump and then. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I see, yeah. Yeah, that is a trip. That is a trip. That's really awesome original oiler here. Generator runs off the front. That looks like a turbo almost. It, it does. I thought it was exhaust driven, then I realized that this is exhaust, that's water. Yeah. That is a just awesome, dude. Yeah. Imagine finding a water pump for this. Or any of this. <laughs> yeah. One's driven off the other one. And the oil can. Yeah. That's neat, isn't it? Yeah. That is just... Uh, that's just off the hook right there. They have an oil can right there to... to what, are you, what are you supposed to oil so much that they have a can right there for? Um, I'm assuming possibly the valve springs. Mm -hmm. They're external. Um, they, yeah. They uh, were. It, this thing didn't run for a lot of years because the valves, or the, the back two cylinders. Yeah. The valves were stuck in the guides because they weren't oiled properly, apparently. I see. But I worked with it and finally got them to loosen up. Those are, those are just. Those are unreal. All that's unreal. It's cool, you can get to the valves really easy. You don't even have to pull the head or nothing. Just pull mm -hmm. these caps. Mm -hmm. And it's probably something you have to maintain fairly often with this motor. Whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I know I just grew with them. Probably, yeah. Summer. Probably otherwise they wouldn't have it there, huh? Yeah. They have to be adjusted occasionally. I, I don't know about adjustment. I'm not sure. Oh. Just maintain. I guess just listen to it or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too up to date on this motor, but I have worked. That's neat. Does it have like a rig, uh, like a, a, you know how cars have uh, serial numbers on the dash or on the wind underneath the windshield? Yeah. Does this have one of those? A plate, a manufacturer plate. 